Welcome to my latest video, everybody. Um, this is UK National Master Genghis Hassman from Cyprus. And um, my latest video is um, Challenging Mongolia's Second Best Female Chess Player. And my opponent today is International Master Dava Demberel Nomin Erden, rated 23.99 at the time. Um, it was played in Novi Sad in April 2019 and it was my second International Master Norm Tournament. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do as well as my first attempt. Um, I did lose M rating points in this tournament, whereas I gained some um, in my first one. So. It's life, tournaments aren't always the same, performances. So um, I'm white, my opponent is black, and I play my traditional d4, and my opponent responds with f5. So the Dutch defense is on the board. I go for an aggressive bishop g5 variation and combine it with h4. So I do have serious intentions and black has to be careful about this h5 push and maybe even to h6 or h takes g6. So um, black plays bishop g7 and I don't, I play e3, I don't play h5 because My bishop can be attacked, and even if I do go to bishop d2, uh, g5 will still be played, and my, my pawn's not going any further, and it could be a potential target later on. So I just played, the, um, played e3, which even after h6, there's no g5. Anyway. So um, d6, developing pieces. I'm playing for the e4 idea and I achieve that. And here I gave into the temptation of playing e5, which is normally a good move. Um, in lots of positions, it gains space, it attacks the f6 pawn, but here um, his knight goes to g4. I can't really, I can't attack it easily. It's putting pressure on my e5 pawn. So, um, the uh, Houdini does say I should have castled, and if e5 is played, just give the bishop in return for rook e1, which is very, very good. Anyway, back to the game. Um, I pin this knight, which is putting pressure on e5. Now I castle, and my opponent castles opposite. So opposite side um, casting on the board, some aggressive ideas for both sides. Um, obviously my h4 pawn is not that helpful now that I've castled short, uh, so I do need to be careful. d5 is approved by Houdini, however knight d5 is not. Knight d4 was the choice of the computer. Um, attacking the bishop. Anyway, there was an exchange, and then I just lose my h4 pawn. If the bishop isn't here, it's um, queen h2 mate, but the bishop is there. And I, I was, I, I believe, I was getting short of time here, and um, I felt I had to do something, so I went over to the queen side. Um, um, attacking a7, attacking um, d6 twice for the bishop, 
I'm very good move by my opponent, bishop e5. Um, I am really under pressure here, to be honest. I come for a queen exchange. This is refused. We could have seen this um, variation on the board. And because it's opposite squared bishops, I might have some drawing chances. But um, obviously my opponent's favorite to win in a position like this. Uh, because I'm dropping this pawn too. So um, yeah, uphill struggle to be honest. Anyway, uh, I didn't see anything better than just going to um, a queen bishop versus queen knight ending after I, I offer a rook exchange. So shortly um, later, I do go two pawns down and um, the odds of me getting anything from this game, you know, is, is not very good at all. Just trying to be active with my queen. I'm looking for weaknesses, even trying to create some. No checking opportunities at the moment. And now this is the bit where I lose my second pawn. Uh, Houdini says that I'm minus three down, which means three pawns, even though I'm actually two pawns down, but my position's bad. So not good really, but we shouldn't give up. We should always fight uh, no matter who we're playing. Um, and, you know, make the game difficult for your opponent. That's my advice. Now, some bit more pressure. I'm, I'm putting some pressure on b7. So knight c5 is almost forced. So my bishop is good, and this move by black is the start of some mistakes. I take the pawn, take a pawn, so the deficit is one pawn now. And now an even bigger mistake by my opponent, because there's like perpetual opportunities. And I make it obvious I'm prepared to take a draw here. My opponent doesn't want that because she'll be losing rating points and she was winning. However, the position has now actually become equal even if my opponent avoids um, a perpetual, which she does. And now it's, all, it's completely equal. Three pawns against three pawns and this long-range bishop uh, is, at, is better than this knight now. And yes, here comes b6, which we, we're both short of time. Um, I'm offering my um, bishop to my opponent, but I've got back rank checkmating ideas. So, obviously, black can't take it. I've got queen takes a sixth threats. And again, that bishop cannot be taken because of the back rank checkmate. Again, I'm repeating moves, which my opponent doesn't want to draw. And I'll suggest pausing this video now to see if you can find the winning move for white see if you can play better than me um, unfortunately i um, didn't play the best move um, i was short of time to be honest but still 
um, I feel that I should have played the correct move. So if you like, pause it. Okay. I played king h2, which is wrong because it allows checks on the dark squares. The correct move was king h1. And no checks. And I've got this, um, sorry, this um, threat again taking on the knight and because the bishop is pinning the pawn so the pawn at the moment is not really protecting the knight and then I've got checkmating threats on b7 so if my opponent had played knight b8 stopping that queen b5 is still really good I've still got uh, Queen a5 check, which would lead to mate or win a piece. And obviously, then he should win the game. So, yeah, a little bit disappointing. But anyway, again, that bishop can't be taken. And my opponent is really checking me a lot. And she can't see anything better than um, um, getting a draw here because of the king is in a bad, really ter terrible position. Um, so anyway, I hope you like this game and um, please subscribe if you haven't and leave any comments um, you would like to make. Thanks for watching.